Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth, episode 73 to 74. Due to Webtoon's new policy of 2023, I do have to blur 50% of each episode, so I'm sorry you guys if you guys want to read along with me for this public video. It is available on webtoons.com. And for anyone who is interested in my private video where I am reading this with no censorship, no blur, all that stuff, and also gain early access to all my reads for the month, they're available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, it's been a while, so let's go. <laughs> huh? Oh my gosh, I forgot. Uh Purple Hyacinth. This episode contains images of graphic violence which may be disturbing to some readers. Discretion is advised. Episode 73 The victim's name is Tim Sake, 37 years old. Been overseas for the past year, no registered employment in Ardalus, but I think we all remember him. Same MO as Harvey, Golden Viper Venom. His body is still warm. He must have died within the last hour. Which means the killer was barely out of the door when the acrobat found him. Do you think it's the work of a hitman? What else could link Harvey and Saki to the same killer? At this stage of the investigation, anything is possible. If Sinclair was still in on the investigation unit, she might already have a lead by now. Well, wishful thinking. Lieutenant Sergeant, you know what to do. We'll make sure everyone evacuates safely. Wanted to make sure Saki wouldn't off her in some back alley before I'm ready. I'm ready to get rid of her. Oh. I'm the new, I'm the new 11th Precinct Mo. Replacement for the officer you killed. Henry or Harry, I can't remember. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was so much fun right in the middle of the precinct and no one noticed <laughs> uh, i wish i could have seen their faces when they found him in that closet mm, yeah thank you so much for liberating that spot by the way i adore spending my days classifying dusty archives and tracking down loon's lead ah uh, boring infiltration missions Brings back memories, doesn't it? Our infiltration mission wasn't exactly boring, remember? You getting shot was the most interesting part. Made an amazing first impression, too. Bang! Uh -huh. Oh. And you are a promising recruit? <laughs> Back on topic. The officer is still useful to me. Considering Sake's fate, she's next on your list, isn't she? I'm not in a hurry. The leader will probably ask me to finish a job at some point. But you seem very eager to keep her alive. How useful can she be? She used to be a detective, knows everything about the inner workings of the precinct and the IU's progress on loons. And I have finally gained her trust. You've charmed her, you mean. You're no stranger to the game. She's a well of information and I tend to wring her dry for every detail I can get. Then toss her in the pit. You've only ever killed one person without direct orders. How unlike you, Karen. She must, she must be truly special. Getting rid of the inform informant is part of my mission. But don't worry, I'll hit you up if I ever get lazy. Right. Just make sure she doesn't charm you. Because I will finish a job if you Dilly dally. Do what you want. Only you know what happens to people who disturb the leader's plans. Oh, that's cute. I haven't seen you so protective over someone since. Ugh. 
啊！哇！哎！哦！好。To keep going. Huh? He's missing a finger. You have grown so much. Huh? Ren, who's that? Is that the driver? Oh my gosh! Purple Hyacinth, episode seventy-four. Oh, that's cute. I've never seen you so protective over someone since. I am protecting my own interest. Don't make it my interest to get rid of you too. Get off your high horse, Kieran. I won't kill her if she's so useful. At least for now. I can be very patient when something catches my eye. Besides, I've got other casual murders to entertain myself with in the meantime. Other clueless police officers. Mostly rich people, cheating spouses, scared scared quitters. I miss hunting down doable agents and the bounty they they come came with. Your venom has gained quite the reckoning. The purple hyacinth might be dethroned at this rate. I'll see you around. Wish us far more often. Don't get rusty. Not many of us choose blades over firearms nowadays. We've got a reputation to uphold. You and I chose blades over guns for very different reasons. Belladonna. <laughs> oh, they're trying to escort them away from the scene. Uh, what? Will, where are you going? Uh, what is he doing? Huh? Is that you, Raphael? Uh. Oh. Oh. Is that his older brother? It is. Oh. Oh. Oh, Ren. You've grown so much. You remember who I am, don't you? Abel Sandman. Date of, date of death, November twenty sixth. Estimated time, eleven thirty. Cause of death, car accident. <gasps> I'm not here to hurt you. Believe me. I know you must have questions about your parents. Why I'm alive? What happened to them? I have everything you need. <gasps> In exchange, I will need you to do something for me. Huh? Something very simple, practically nothing compared to the help I can offer you. Uh, I will need you to find a picture for me. You either already have it in your possession, or it is kept in the police archives. Ansel's picture. I see. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You took it from Hart Harry Onslow the night of his arrest, didn't you? How can he? The picture is the only remaining evidence of my involvement in the Allendale tragedy. I want to turn myself in.、Uh, do you think I wanted to help blow up the train station, murder children? I knew nothing of the Phantom Scythe, but our mutual friend dragged me into it. I owed Tim Socket a favor. And before I knew what I was getting it myself into, 
I was a prisoner in their claws. They had too much against me. But a few weeks ago, everything changed. I have nothing left to lose now. Betraying the Phantom Scythe is suicide, so I want to take down as many people as I can with me. Harry's picture is part of the evidence that I intend to deliver to the police. I need it back before they toss it. He held on to it from his time as a journalist assigned to the inauguration. He made a pretty penny selling those pictures. Enough to quit photography for good. But he only realized what that one was last year. Because of the scandal between Sake and you, of all people, he tracked me down and contacted me. He wanted dirt on Sake, who has never been belonged by, beloved by his colleagues, as you probably, probably noticed. Anselo knew nothing of my true intention, obviously. But I've got to meet someone soon. I was supposed to meet him at the Golden Clover on the 30th to buy the picture. But apparently, Loon got there first. I showed up in the middle of a, of a police raid to Anselo in cuffs and the picture was gone. But then I heard that Sinclair's daughter was an officer at the precinct that arrested Onslow. I started following you, hoping to have you retrieve the picture for me. But as I was following you, I realized you weren't just any city cop. No, you've been actively trying to unmask the leader and the Apostle Seven. You are Loon. And you've been working with the Purple Hyacinth. Crap. Crap. This guy is smart and unwrapped everything way faster than people in uh, Lauren's team. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, guys. If you guys enjoy my webtoon reactions slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about this to these two episodes, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.